We're here at the Farm Bureau Air Show with Luis Carlos Afonso uh, Embriar. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure. You've got, uh, on the E2, you have three different wing designs for three different models. Uh, this is unprecedented in any other aircraft family that we can remember in history. Uh, can you tell us why you developed the three wings and what the implications are for the efficiency and effectiveness on the aircraft? Well, absolutely. Well, as you know, commercial aviation is all about efficiency and the economics. So by having three different wings, we were able to optimize each of our three models without compromises. If you have one wing, uh, you typically have to have an average wing, which is too big for one model and too small for the other model. If you have three models, it's even worse. So because at Embraer we have, um, uh, I believe, as, a, as, a, as an important competitive advantage, the ability to to very efficiently uh, uh, invest more uh, because we are very lean, we're very uh, agile in our development processes. So uh, we were able uh, in a $1.7 billion project, which is not a huge number when you look at other examples in the industry, we were able to introduce significant uh, improvements on, on the EJET family and to develop three different wings. The 175 wing is completely different from the 190, 195 wings. And the 190 uh, to the 195 wings, they, they have a small difference. The 195, we have announced that at our rollout. <clears throat> it, uh, it has uh, an increased span by 1.4 meters and of course we had to reinforce uh, structurally the wing. The implications of that is, is that uh, we have good field performance and optimized fuel burn for each of uh, the three models. And you see that when you, you compare the E-Jet with its uh, direct competitors. Uh, in our press briefing, we have uh, shown a fun chart where we put, we call that a line of efficiencies, putting our family and our uh, competitors' uh, family, and we are 10% more efficient in terms of fuel burn. We are more efficient weight-wise, because of course, if you use a big wing in a smaller airplane, it becomes heavy. So our 195, has the same operating weight uh, as the CS100, but it carries 10% more passengers. So on a kilogram per passenger, it is more efficient. And this is all uh, uh, results into better economics for the airlines. You mentioned also uh, that you got uh, better maintenance costs than your competitor. How did you, how did you come up with uh with the optimization for your airframe, and does the proven design of the E1 impact the uh, the E2? Absolutely. the The fact that the that we have the E1 uh, allows us, gives us lots of uh, knowledge, lessons learned, give us uh, the experience of the contact with our customers. So we have uh, seventy uh, customers on the e -Jets. And, and of course, we feedback from from them what is the ideal airplane, and the and <clears throat> more and more we see that the life cycle cost is is so important. So the maintenance cost uh, is more and more um, important. And so uh, with all these lessons learned from everything we heard from this uh, huge uh, customer base, we did uh, several improvements. So for instance. Um, the number of times you have to stop our plane, our airplane, is smaller than the number of times you have to stop the competitor. And this means less cost and more availability for the airline to, to make money. So this is one example. We are using uh, health monitoring, you know, uh, collecting data for, for the, from the airplane on the current generation. We are going to a next level on the on the E2, and this will improve schedule reliability, but also reduce uh, maintenance costs. So, I, as I like to to repeat, 
D2 would not be a fantastic mach machine as it is if we didn't have the E1 and if we didn't have all the knowledge from our customers that we have through the E1. Sounds like a promising future. The uh, the program is uh, ahead of schedule right now. Do you anticipate any uh, the potential of introducing to service early, or will you uh, keep the keep the existing dates and put more learning into the air flight? Absolutely, that's the second uh, alternative. Yes, we are ahead of uh, schedule. We did not use all the buffer that we had in our schedule. Things are going, let's say, smoother than uh, than predicted. But we are not changing the entry to service date. We want to use the additional time we have to mature the product so that we deliver even a better product to our customers. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity.